Hello everybody, welcome back to Live with Roger Hansen with me and Karma Love. Hello Karma. How you, you doing? Alright, you got your finger on top of your phone. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Alright, um, today's topic is conspiracy. We changed the day for conspiracy from Thursday to Wednesday, and tomorrow is going to be Tech Talk. So, just so everybody knows, we are doing conspiracy today. Now, um, Robot asked if he was late, so I might want to tag him. Oh, uh, yeah, you should probably let him know it's time. He was real adamant about asking that, so... What is now, this 180? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, $180 that, uh, that, uh, that Life here wanted to try to charge me for live streaming. That's wild. Yeah, I know. But anyhow, um, what I wanted to do was uh, kind of go back and focus on DARPA when we were talking about uh, Ed, uh, what's his name, Tesla? Yeah. And we got into HARP and then we got uh, Dar DARPA came up and uh, just in case uh, nobody remembers we were talking about Tesla and then we were talking about Jack Parsons I also pulled up information on what uh, JPL is. So, um, oh, I had um, JPL information from when we had started the the last time. I'm getting settled, so I'm going to just have to listen and come chime in how you oh, how fine. you speak on it. Okay, because I was out. I'm looking for my iPad. I'm like, where's my iPad? I went out, and then I was supposed to. Never mind. Long story short, go ahead. I'll listen. Now, it's like I said in uh, my little comment for the Jitsi and everything, um, last week we discovered co or dis discussed COVID and uh, the vaccines, and the week before that we discussed the Royal Society and the Invisible School. That in turn, to the, uh, in turn led to the Rosicrucians and that's another topic that I think we should be bringing up to eventually. Um, yeah, we were talking about the rest Yeah. And then... Yeah, I remember that. Then, uh, uh, before that, we went over Tesla and Harp and Jack Parsons and JPL. Now, um, mm -hmm. I think and we should... Secret Space Society. Mm -hmm. And I think we should uh, touch on DARPA and then go into the dark project or dark projects and with uh, dark government and talk about that a little bit. And uh, if we do stumble, stumble into something new, it's no big deal, you know what I mean. But I I think that's where we should at least start off on, you know what I mean. Go into there. Yeah, no. Um, I that's what I had said in the chat. Like that we be having our, our topics, but we go all over the place sometimes. If it leads us there, like especially on conspiracy day, we're not as structured well, I, as like history. And stuff. The thing is, is I mean, I know it sounds weird, <laughs> but um, a lot of the stuff that we've been doing, we've been staying on topic because completely like, connected. You know, because like I was. I was mentioning in the first episode about freaking Egypt, okay? Yeah. And about freaking uh, the Rosicrucian and stuff. Now, that that right there goes back to freaking Sub Rosa, which is a part of the thing I was talking about with the Rosicrucian and the roses under the mm -hmm. rose. And we were looking at the pictures, yeah. I, I was about to post that picture, but I was like, I got to do a little bit more research because it's so beautiful to me. And yeah, I remember we were looking at the um, symbolism of it last week. Mm -hmm. And then like, uh, we started talking about uh, um, 
first we were talking about Jack Parsons because of uh, Elias to Crowley. Mm-hmm. And we and, started talking about the Aeon and Harris and stuff. So. Uh-huh. And that actually led us into uh, where we're going with uh, JPL because J- Jack Parkins, or Parsons was the founder of JPL. Yep. You know, and let me set my butt down because I got all my notes and I'm doing too much. I just had to make sure the cold stuff went in the refrigerator. But um, I want to get to my notes because I have notes on everything that we we talk about, yeah. <clears throat> except the round table. I don't usually take notes. <laughs> we just make a, <laughs> we run a muck is what we do. That's what we do on Friday. <laughs> Reagan, TGIF, like, yeah. Then uh. Like with this thing about DARPA, that that goes into freaking harp, all right. And a lot of uh, people who are in the mainstream uh, conspiracy, they they do believe that Tesla was used to freaking create harp. And yeah. harp, harp, uh, for the longest time they denied it even existed. Now they're openly saying that harp does exist. And not only that's replacing um in Antarctica, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yep. And or it might be up in uh, the Klondike or or Alaska, somewhere in there, I believe. Oh, I said Antarctica. I meant to say Alaska. I meant to say Alaska, not Antarctica. I don't know where I got Antarctica from, but yeah, I know it's the cold place. I remember that much. But then they openly say too that freaking DARPA funded them at first before they turned all all of it over to that college so um now darpa has been known for a long time too in the in the same circles and they they consider darpa as being one of the biggest organizations when it comes to the dark government and the dark projects and stuff so that that was the reason why i brought them up are you beeping well, the, I want my coffee. Yeah, my coffee, and it doesn't ever beat this much. It's literally because it wants to be annoying. Like, kinda, I, wasn't I, it DARPA that created the first internet systems? Yeah. As a matter of fact, that is the reason why I don't sell out to this free internet bullshit. Is because everybody freaking claims like, you know, it, it was supposed to be free for everybody. I'm like, no, it wasn't, dude. It was created by the freaking government. You know what I mean? The only reason why they gave it to us was so they could spy on us. They're doing exactly. It, it, it's doing exactly what freaking the government wanted it to do from the beginning. You know. Speaking uh, of which, did you have your emergency broadcasting system checked today? <laughs> 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 the spies are us. But yeah, DARPA was the one that was behind it. And they, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I know there was a large group of people when the internet first started who did want that but it's not the re or that they, they weren't the ones that invented the internet okay the internet was created by governments it, it was never mm-hmm. it was never created by a bunch of geeks down in a basement somewhere you know what i mean it just didn't happen that way when they first gave me the internet um the people that brought it to us um, just like my grandmother's friends and stuff like that. They explain to us. That's why I'm really anti. People will put any and everything on the internet. And then like they they told me like they told us like what to use it for, how to use it. And like that, what you're saying is exactly true. But as long as you do and there's certain techniques, you can make sure that um, to not fall victim. But the crazy part about it is now you have like all these hackers and stuff like that. And they make it a little bit more difficult because they're the ones spying. Like you'll think that the government is, some people are exempt from the spying from the government, but those people that are not exempt kind of get a little jealous. And so then they start spying through their own attempts, which is why hacking and intercepting has actually started to take more of a dominant effect and have a dominant role. I was just looking for my Harper notes because I see no. IBM scandal. See, we were talking about the IBM scandal. Um, yeah. Now, uh, DARPA stands for Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, and uh, 
it's a, uh, a research and development agency of the United States Department of Defense responsible for the development of emerging technologies for use by the military. And they've also been known, I mean literally known for reverse technology. Okay, they, they did it on Russian uh, technology when they were able to acquire it and they, they brag about it now, you know, how, how they were able to reverse use reverse technology to get their uh, te get Russian technology into American hands um, I think it's the AK-47 uh, was one of the first weapons that we acquired from the Russian military oh wow yeah that's why okay so look just we're not going too far on a tangent I just would like to throw this tin in there so I, everyone was tripping about the war with Ukraine, like, oh, save Ukraine, blah, 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 stand with them, blah, 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 blah. It's so crazy because, like, America even appeared to be more allied or rallying with, like, Ukraine. But the truth be told, like, Russia is more of an American ally than Ukraine is. And people have no clue of that. We used They used to be allies, and then it kind of, like, supposedly, at least publicly, kind of like how we're free publicly, and we have our Declaration of Independence that freed us from England, and then, you know, the truth be told, we'll throw the 13th Amendment in here, like, oh, well, actually, they, they run you, but we're not going to tell you about it. We're just going to say it so that way it's there, and you find, oh, surprise, but it's not, not. Same thing with Russia. So Ukraine was hiding something. It was a point of time that something got hit inside of Ukraine, and that they, and I feel like now that I, I'm doing more research, I feel like it was that that death ray thingy that I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway, they had to, ha yeah, they had to have access from uh, um, to get it, but they didn't want to give it. They did not want to give it up, and they were supposed to. And that's why Russia started tripping, like, give us back our stuff. And they're like, no, they felt like they, you know what I mean? Well, he thought he was a boss, like, I don't have to do this, blah, 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 blah. And you know what I mean, they started dropping bombs on them. It's crazy because people were helping Ukraine, but the truth of the matter is, why are they fighting so hard to so dangerous if they're so peaceful? Does it make sense? Well, Ukraine, first of all, was never peaceful. Like, they're yeah. put, putting out this persona like Ukraine was freaking, you know, just victims. Cool by yeah and stuff, yeah. Yeah, they That's were just cool. horrible victims. <laughs> Ukraine is just as freaking uh, ruthless, scandalous, <laughs> and ruthless as what Russia is. Okay, the majority of worse. the people, the majority of the people who are in charge of the Russian mafia are freaking <laughs> Ukrainians. Okay, thank you. I said this on my radio show years, like when the war was first starting, like years ago, and like nobody was listening to me. I was just like some horrible person because it's like, oh wow, how could you say this? And you stand with Russia and blah blah blah. I'm like, I'm not standing with anybody. I'm just telling you, you're being lied to. Everyone's fooling you, and you're yeah. sitting here. I'm like, okay, there's the rose cross, there's the tetragram. I was just looking um, about what we were talking about because, like I said, I knew I had my notes, and I just. And a heart. Now, let me read a little bit more of this. Originally known as the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, the agency was created on February the 7th, 1958 by President Dwight D. Roosevelt. And D Dwight D. Roosevelt was also responsible for coming out and speaking supposedly against this organization. You know, that, that was supposed to be in the background trying to freaking do something to our government without our consent. Now, I don't know if he was actually trying to be uh, legitimate there, you know, and try to tell, warn people. But also, he could have done that because of an agenda because he's the one who started this agency. You know what I'm saying? It was him. So that's the one another thing that gets me like that like you, you just can't openly admit uh trust everything that dwight d eisenhower said because uh -huh. he created the same freaking organization that he was warning everybody about in his speech you know what mm -hmm. i mean so it's it's kind of like uh i forgot his name uh, but uh he came out with that freaking uh Oh shit, now I'm having a brain fart. 
he, he came out with that one movie where freaking uh, it was uh, supposed to be a future world. Of, uh, I forgot the name of it. Shit. Well, anyhow, yeah, I, for, I forgot it. I, I better shut up and not even talk about it. <laughs> Maybe that's why you forgot it, but I wish you could remember it. Yeah, I, I might as I go on. Okay, bye, President Dwight D. Eisenhower in response to the Soviet launching of Sputnik 1 in 1957. By collaborating with academia, industry, and government partners, DARPA formulated and executes research and development projects to expand the frontier of technology and science, often beyond immediate U.S. military requirements requirements which means they can basically do whatever they want and they don't have to have permission from the US military or huh. the government so that's uh, where they enter into the dark government you know what I mean they're separate from freaking regular regular government and they don't have to go according to the guidelines that are set down for them Hold on one second. Old John's asking how to set up Jitsi. I'm going to tell him to just click the link and um, join him. In. He's so cool. Who? I hope he comes. Old John. Oh, He's John. like, how do you set up Jitsi? I tried to yesterday, but I don't have that council link. Um, yeah, he asked about how to, um, you do not have to use an account to join. <laughs> He's um, messaging you, you now. He messaged you. He messaged us. He messaged the um. Tell him to, tell him to mm -hmm. click on the link and come in here and. Yeah, he needs to be. This is just like. Like. Yeah. He wants to have a conversation and stuff, man. Let's let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, come on in here, man. What you doing? Tag him. <laughs> I packed him again. I did, but he, that was you. Oh, that was like four minutes ago, so maybe he's distracted. He'll see it if he's going to see it. If he has a chance, because you know how he is. He has his baby or whatever, so hopefully mm -hmm. he can. Um... Now, uh, right here. Um, You're not linking me. You didn't send me any links um, it's to help sitting, out. Me. It's sitting right there in chat. Well, oh, oh, now you sent it. No, it doesn't. It says take my smoke oh. break and be proud. Oh, oh, you're talking about that. Okay, you're wanting a link to what I'm looking <laughs> Yeah, at. what we're reading. And oh. I was like, you did not link me anything. What is it? It's just regular Wikipedia? I can pull it up. I'm supposed to have I it can, already. That's I funny. can do it. You just click on the link and it'll take you right to it. Oh, there it is. That's why I was frustrated because I had the notes for Harp and I had the notes for DARPA and now they're just magically disappeared. That's what I mean about yeah, right. I already donated it. All right, I'm cool. Now, the other one's not harp; it's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But uh, the the part that I just went over to, where they uh, formulate and execute research and development, that's what a lot of uh, people who believe in UFOs and aliens believe that we've been reverse engineering uh, spaceships and stuff like that. You know? Oh wow! So. Not only so are where they, are they getting this from, just from learning this type of stuff. Um, yeah, basically doing research. Uh, there's a lot of people who freaking believe in that, like especially Area 51 and uh, Mount Hood, which what? That, Mount Hood. Excuse um, me, but Area 51, you say believe in it like it's not real. Do some people think it's not real? It's like a actual location. Well, I mean, they believe that alien research is being taken place there. There's some people who don't believe that. Some people that just believe it's a top secret. The remote viewing data shows that it, um, it's about 10, 20 stories deep. And um, on the higher levels, they have like medical research, um, to all the way to like um, reverse engineering alien craft and bio um, and biological weapons research, and then uh, the remote viewing data shows at the bottom there is like a joint alien um, human sort of 
area where they do genetic experiments on different species. Yeah. I believe that shit's real. I think I think it is, and it, I don't think it's there. I think there's plenty of places around the planet where they do that, including Pine Gap the, in Australia. Yeah. Didn't I've the government just find say that they did it? Like they just admitted, like some guy was at a press conference admitting that they do these things and that they have communications with extraterrestrial and they do experiment with aliens and stuff. Am I? Well, where do you think they get the UAPs from, you know? That's all over the news now. I mean, there's no more questions about it. <laughs> Look at your flat phone. Is, Look at your flat you know, the, you know, they didn't just come up with that out of nowhere. They <laughs> traded that technology, a reverse engineered it from alien technology. And that means there's aliens, you know? It's just like Wait. denying it at this point is just silly in my opinion. You know the antennas you got in your phone, right? You guys know the history on that, right? <laughs> Like, that's the greatest invention since the frickin' will. And nobody's even aware of it. You're walking around with a frickin' flat phone, and the antenna that goes to it is just frickin' out of this world. I mean, check I'm it out. I'm at an antenna with a coat hanger once. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I, I found that out just by checking it out on the, on the frickin' math and stuff. Uh, They've uh, got a whole different setup for freaking math now to where they can uh, calculate how much carbon monoxide is being released in a freaking three mile perimeter just by cutting a tree down and measuring its uh, limbs and how high and tall the tree is. You know what I mean? I mean, that's how far they've come. So. You, you got to think about that stuff, man. It's just, it's completely amazing. So, yeah, I can... Well, from the whistleblowers that I've sort of come across, uh, they say that when they reverse engineer a new piece of technology from alien technology, they it sort of goes into private corporations and then certain ones are selected to, you know, do a controlled release into the public slowly, you know. Um, they say LED technology, um, fiber optics, and a lot of stuff like that came from like deep military projects first, and uh, probably came from reverse engineered stuff. I think they even said bulletproof vests are a part of it. Wow, really? Yep. Oh, nice. I mean, nice to know. I didn't. I nice. know too night vision goggles when you see all these uh, videos of people uh, soldiers running around with night vision goggles they say that's reverse engineering from aliens too oh you just reminded me of something I know it's like unrelated but I heard today from an inside source that um, the luciferase that's in the vaccines uh, lights up underneath under certain LED conditions and they plan on installing these LEDs in smart cities and it makes it really easy to track people. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's that's the vaccine. Because before there was one, I was like, they, everyone was like, well, they're going to make you get the vaccine. I was like, they cannot make you get anything. They're like, yes, they are. They're not going to let you have a job. They're not going to let you do this. You can't have this. You can't. Like, everyone's so worried about figuring out how they have to comply with this nonsense. I said, I'm telling you, these are your tracking devices. As the New World Order has begun and, they, begun and they told you that they're going to do these things and now you guys are like playing oblivious. And people are like going on and on and on about how crazy I was about it. But it's so funny because there's so much research talking about how basically it's a kill switch. Some stuff, um, so if they don't see you as a benefit to society, they can't just literally kind of push a button. People are getting tumors. They're like having excessive amounts of headaches, excessive amounts of pains, cancers. Cancer has increased. Um, and different things if there was already something wrong with you even if it was suppressed it's bringing it up to the forefront and it's basically literally this is the survival of the fittest and people are like like and a lot of unfortunately i need to break it to people but a lot of quote unquote rich people got the shot and it's a matter of how valuable you are you know that um when the holocaust happened they were stealing the gold of the dead jews like they stole their money. the jewish people died with money they had money and they got robbed, and that gold is sitting in London now, in the bank. Right. Right. There's 
that's still being debated because apparently the ship was leaving England and was on its way to New York and sunk. So, yeah, right. And just, the, just like the money from just like all the gold that got moved from the Twin Towers the day before they blow up, right? Yeah. Where did that money? Where did that go? It just disappeared. All of and the $1.2 trillion that went missing in transactions the day before 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? that Rumble, yeah. Okay. Well, I heard of, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just well, like, and you, these people are so foolish. <laughs> you understand that freaking the disclosure hearings were taking place right before that too, right? And it <laughs> came to a halt. Right. I mean, literally, freaking the day before the freaking uh, bombings, they were having a freaking dis- the part of the disclosure hearings. Did you hear what you just said? So naturally rolled off your tongue the, bu- the day before the bombing. You didn't say the day before the terrorist attack. You said the day before the bombing. Exactly. Exactly. Because the yeah. smoke should have been a different color. Because the building should have actually. It, it was, first of all, the second, the building that got hit second fell first. Makes no sense. And everyone recalls, not everyone, but a lot of the witnesses recall, once again, take them a payoff, hearing the explosion first before there was any impact of an airplane. Mm-hmm. It's just, you just said it. You just was like, oh man, you it, did it. And you didn't mean to do to it. Me, it was literally no, to a me, a bombing. Slip. To me, a bombing is an airplane. It's a car. It's a freaking bomb. The first time they tried to do it, they a used bombing. a van. They used a van with manure in the back. And you see what I mean? Like, bull the, crap. The bomb, the bomb can be anything, but Getting to that though, a lot of people with conspiracy theories did research and found out that the fuel from a jet airplane does not reach the freaking amount of heat that's required to freaking burn them them rebarbs, okay? And right. they researched it. So even in that aspect, they're they're still wondering how freaking this jet fuel was able to freaking burn through that and cause the, those buildings to fall. Yeah, yeah the, the plane would have blew up. It wouldn't have caused the buildings to and it fall. fell into its own footprint, down. just like a demolition would. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they put the bomb in the place of the gold and they blew up the building. Suspicious, like Israelis that rented the floor just below where the plane crashed. Um, for a few months before that, and um, there's speculation that they were massaging the people that planted the bombs inside the building. Because um, on the day when the buildings went down, um, a lot of witnesses on the street were saying they heard like pop, 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 pop mm-hmm. explosions in the building. And then before all of those um, disappeared off online, you know, and they're hard to find now. Yeah, and then that whole thing about them finding the passport of the terrorist, like, so he got on the plane without the passport. And then he <laughs> that was ridiculous. Right? How do you? How that do you find? We're no singes. It's no burn marks. Hey, 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 guys, guess what? God is good, man. We know who did it. Even though everything else blew up, they left their passport. Come on, are you kidding bulletproof. me? Bulletproof, for, bulletproof, bulletproof, bullet, <laughs> bulletproof, fireproof everything proof and then it's so far away from the mass because you know where the destruction happened uh, where the devastation happened it like if it was in that it would have been over there it wasn't even near it it wasn't even like what was he doing running to catch the plane that he was going to use to blow up the twin t- wait a minute i'm late for my flight like come on no he wasn't the plane didn't come out of me. how does the password get on the street and, the and the, um, these fundamentalists um, you know, what do you call them? Uh, is, is extremist terrorists supposedly were seen at a strip club the night before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how they just turned that's up. They just partying, up. turning up. Like, that, that's... make sure your face is everywhere. So that way, you know, I mean, people can have a face to relate with. Oh, yeah, I saw him and I did this. And it's crazy because there's that, that guy that um, I told you about would do better. And he invited him to the chat and told him about us and stuff. He, uh-huh. They had a show talking about the same thing. And the guy was like, well, I was actually at school, I, at pilot school. He said, everyone was like, oh, what, in Florida? He's like, no, 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 no. They had a pilot school that they were doing in Jersey. What? What? They were <laughs> in Jersey. I'm like, Dude, they no. Were, they, they had schools down there by you, okay? Yeah, in and Miami. There was a- Wasn't it town. Miami? No, it Fort was, uh, it was uh, Coolidge. No, uh, uh, 
It was down by Frost Free. Um, oh I God. know they were out here in Florida, but I felt like it might they be were it was Fort real Myers, close but to you. They were real close to where you were. Tampa? Yeah. I don't... Um, I just think it's crazy. I think it was... I, I, I want to say Coolidge, but I know that's in Arizona. Um, um, it's, yeah, they. but there was a bunch of them, though. You know that they went to school more than once you had to. Yeah. They say that they got their pilot's license from the one. Let me see. I'm about it to was, look it up right now. It wasn't Lake Placid. It, it, it was right around Lake Placid. Um, in between Sebring's and Les, Lake Placid, there's a, a town there. And uh, we used to live there. And when they said uh, that uh, one of the guys trained there, it blew my mind because freaking I, I was there as a kid. So I remembered that town. But it, it was pretty interesting. Um, they, they, they had, uh, tra they, they got training from Arizona. As a matter of fact, the FBI. Arizona? No, no, that was in Oklahoma. Hold on. The, the okay, FBI. Aviation in Venice, Florida. Okay. Yeah. So down, aviation down by Venice. Venice. Mm hmm It was down by Venice. Allegedly, Ven because you know you have to sign in when you when you um, fly. The guy was like how the guy's name was on the roster for them to sign in, and then after he started asking questions, every time he went out to get on the airplane, something was wrong with his airplane. He said every single time after he started questioning stuff that was going on. Every single time he would go out, his plane might not be able to stop or it was having some type of stutter. There was always something wrong. And of course, because, I mean, the good guys usually win, um, he was able to get back to safety and come home and tell these stories. But he was just relaying. We got to get with that WCRN guy because, like, he was just relaying the stories of what happened. And you should listen to it because they're recorded and he like i mean like he was talking about them being in jersey and like everyone thinks that it was in florida but they were flying and they were took flights and it was like i think he said the day before or two days before. i don't i don't want i don't like to do the time frame exactly because that might be incorrect but he was saying it was really close to the times of the attack and you know me i get all my information jumbled up but he was saying it was really close to the time of the attack and he was they like you said he was on his list as to having taken that plane out and then too isn't there information about how the bush and um the bush and osama's brother had lunch or whatever like the day before where we were like chilling chit chatting I cutting it up i don't know I you mean, haven't heard i remember what happened um they they shut down all their flights out of america and then only the bin Ladens were allowed to leave i remember that and, and and then okay so we all know that he was working, Osama Bin Laden was trained by the CIA, and then he, he was like basically the scapegoat. And it's crazy that he was allowed to leave after, you know what I mean? After they kind of set him up, quote unquote, framed him. I, I don't, I still to this day, you can tell me that they blew him up and they, they brought back his head to prove it. He's not dead. And he's I just know. hiding. And they, didn't, yeah, like, they didn't do that. No, uh, I, I've got a friend. They didn't bring back his I got a friend that's in the, or was in the military, and he used to have to do shit like that. And what happened, okay, and no, despite what all these fuckers are telling you, what happened <laughs> with, a, with a black ops operation like that, okay, when freaking they send people in, like there was two helicopters and one crash, right? What mm -hmm. happened was is they freaking had to blow that other one up so that freaking nothing remained of it. So the <laughs> one came in and then they freaking let's say they did kill him, okay? No. Mm -hmm. what, they, what they did is they freaking they freaking brought his body onto the helicopter. And the first thing that freaking they're supposed to do is they're supposed to pull the teeth. Every freaking tooth in his mouth comes out. Now after they pull the freaking mouth, if they're over freaking the water, that body goes straight into the water, period. Right. Mm -hmm. right. With some weights, yeah. The only thing they freaking collect of the freaking body is the teeth, and that's because they need the DNA and they need the freaking, uh, they need the dental records. Yeah, because that, because you can be identified no matter how bad it is with the I dental, reckon there yeah. was no body, and they just... They covered it up by killing the whole Navy team, six people that, that went there because they knew they couldn't keep a secret. Mm -hmm. You notice how the whole team died like within a year after that? 
Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what's happening with Bitcoin and stuff. Yeah. And wild. Uh, nobody really ever got to see the video because, uh, like, if you pay attention to when uh, uh, what's her face Clinton. She, she was sitting there, Obama was sitting there and they're staring at a camera. That That's nothing more than a reaction, a reaction film. They wanted you to see them reaction, their reaction as they see it, you know, as they were horrified. They even gave, gave a surprising face, you know what I'm saying? It and then there's a speech hold on, of um, President Bush talking about how when the first tower when he was outside of the classroom when the first tower struck he's like yeah and they told me of the attack and i was getting ready to go inside the classroom but allegedly the news that we saw he was inside of the classroom when he first found out about what yeah. was going on also let's talk about them removing all their stocks you know put options and um a buy option and they took a bunch of put options basically they said hey these stocks are going to fall why are they going to fall because we're going to blow up some shit. and that's exactly what they did you don't do that like a week before you know what i mean like you like but i and i really convinced it was for that gold i'd like to know where the gold is to be honest i mean i think it was to freaking uh change the direction of uh, policy it's like i said before freaking the disclosure hearings were freaking just a day before you know what i'm saying <laughs> And disclosure didn't doesn't just have to do with freaking alien conspiracy. And everybody seems to think that, you know what I mean? Because you've got freaking Dr. Uh, I forgot his name. He's the one that wants to hold hands and freaking sing chants so that the aliens will come down and see you. You know, and he, that's, that's nothing more than a government shield right there. That's all he is. Okay, he wants to go out and hang out next to Area 51 and convince you that these aliens are good guys and they're just there. All you got to do is meditate real hard and they'll talk to you and hold your hand. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not afraid Greer. of aliens more. Who Dr. do you fear Greer. more? Or who do you feel like causes more room for concern? The aliens or the people that are attempting to promote the aliens or the people that are attempting to deny the aliens exist? Who do you think are more detrimental to our existence? I, I think freaking when it comes to aliens, freaking you know, everybody has a right to their own opinion. But yeah. when people are purposely trying to freaking attack Wait, people who believes, direction. who believes in aliens, those people freaking have an agenda. Okay, there's a reason why they want you to think freaking. That ufologists are cuckoo, all right? Hmm. It's it's yep. it's it's not just because freaking, you know, they believe in aliens. Because if that was the case, then they would do something. You know, hold on a minute. Okay. So your mom said hi. Uh, I guess it's a bit more complicated than that. Um, I and I base this on again remote viewing data that I've seen. Uh, so I actually am. And, and a bunch of uh, uh, whistleblowers that I've come across. I actually think, first of all, you know, it's pretty fucking obvious that aliens are real. Uh, like, you see it in all our ancient mythologies all around the world. They've already admitted it basically on TV, you know, like, um, what you have to think to yourself is what are the implications of that, okay? So the implications are, you know, the stories are real about Area 51 and those UFO crashes back in the 40s and 50s. That means we've had about 70 years of reverse engineering alien technology, which means we've already got technology that can take us to Mars, probably much further than that, which means there's probably already military bases on the moon, on Mars, and you know, they know that Musk is about to send some ships up there and the public is about to find out about it. So they have to start breaking it to the people. Otherwise, if the people find out they've been lied to, um, just like abruptly, um, heads are gonna roll, you know? So there's, there's, that's the reason I think for the last 70 years they've been condemning people that believe in that stuff. And now all of a sudden they're like not tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists anymore all of a sudden it's on tv military people are talking about it 
is because this stuff they know needs to come out, but they don't want to tell us the whole truth. They yeah. still want to be They're able to control what. Us. They're yeah. distracting us, and I feel like the aliens will be quite pissed off because they've been holding them captive. So the aliens maybe have been cool or have been willing to work with us, kind of like the 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 white settlers did when they came to Africa. Like Africans were cool with these people. The same with the Native Americans and the Pilgrims. Everybody was cool, but these people came and wanted to bogart some stuff and take some stuff from people, and they were not really cool. They were free willingly given all the knowledge and information and power that they never had to ask for. And instead of being grateful, they had to be greedy. So they started putting these friends, should be, into captivity. And as a result of putting them into captivity, they're pissed off and they starting to act crazy, but not really, because the truth be told, these people would like to be able to present some type of power over a uh, infinitely powerful existence. And that's the part that's causing them a type of discord because now hey, we might have a little bit of issues that we're gonna to have to go ahead and mention it. Go ahead and distract them with this because we have this going on. I gotta tell you aliens exist because I'm gonna blow you up over here, but I'm gonna blame it on the aliens who were supposed to be our friends and we wouldn't even be able to have this information and knowledge had it not been for them. But we're gonna use what they gave to us so nicely, so freely, so openly in order for us to be able to use it against not only you guys, but them as well. And like, they're just lying. They're just liars. This whole government is just trash. Yeah, robot. One reason is true. There's good aliens and bad aliens. There's aliens that are controlling, and there's aliens that are respect free will. And uh, if you read that passage in the Bible that I just posted, it's in Revelations chapter twelve. Yeah, uh, right. It kind of shows you like that. Um, the stuff, the stories of Star Wars and stuff like that is pretty much real. And um, what we have on this planet is the secret societies and the, the dark government that you speak about are in cahoots with the controlling aliens, the reptilian, Draco, and Orion factions. And, um, you know, it's kind of shit, but at the same time, there's a lot of good aliens out there too that are willing to help us. But they don't, because they respect free will, they don't want to just rock up, like, come up, come here and do it without our permission. So, like, enough people need to learn the truth and wake up to it, and then we can actually ask for help as a species. And uh, I think that's when we can actually start getting on our feet again. Now, see, with, okay. with me, I, I, I kind of run a different direction on there like everybody like wants to set these aliens supposed aliens if they do or don't exist it's not my my concern okay but what what they want to do is they want to make them out like they're these noble races because they're so much evolved they have to be freaking good people right and no they, they don't you know what no. I mean? There, there's no guarantee that any kind of alien race is sophisticated and spiritual. And the only people who think that are people who are sophisticated and spiritual. You know what I mean? It's, See, it's kind of look at Star Wars. I mean, if it, it's going to be a shit show out there in the galaxy, just like it is here on Earth. You know, like yeah. the hermetic idiom is like as above, so below. Yeah, exactly. What if I put you in captivation and hid your existence for years? Are you going to be peaceful with me when you finally figure out a way to break free from my nonsense? You're going to be pissed off. And if, you, if you're really smart, hold on. If you can evolve, we evolve, right? And you can develop. So what if they have been communicating with outside, even within being in captivation? And they've been in captivity and they're able to communicate with people or, excuse me, there are people that are not in captivity. And what's stopping them from attacking? Like maybe they were once friendly, but then we ruined that. But look, alien by definition just means a foreigner, especially one who is not a naturalized citizen of the country where they are living. Like an alien is, okay, and I'm gonna even go further to the etymology because alien by definition, I, we're not even using it right because we're aliens. I'm not from here. I mean, I'm from here now, but I mean, this is like- Where are you from? <laughs> Mars. Where, 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 where are you from, Karma? From Mars. No, I'm just joking. But I'm just saying, like, we didn't. No one started in America. No one. Our families did not start here. 
Like I, I well, I didn't, from what I know, my family did not start here. Hold on, I'm gonna look up the etymology for Ellie, because <laughs> no. um, stranger thing, foreign. Another thing you got to look at. There's, there's other ufologists too who believe that they've been here all along. As a matter of fact, when you were talking about us evolving, they believe that they were responsible for us evolving. That's where we became intelligent. No, well, see, that's bogus. I heard that too because supposedly uh, they, they, the creation I mean, down to an infinite amount of knowledge. You, you look like at that. you look I at the know. time period that humans have been on this planet. Okay, like all the advancement that we've done is like a blink of, of the eye when you compare how much time we've been on this planet. All right, like it's it's amazing time span how fast humans have evolved. Okay. You feel like we've evolved fast? I feel fast. like we have evolved. We've evolved. We've, we've, we've been on this planet for millions of years. Okay? For millions. You mean we're not exercising humans are a lot. in our highest form just, of intelligence? Just humans. Just freaking Homo sapiens. Well, Homo sapiens sapiens have only been anatomically like we are today for half a million years. For half a million years, okay. So, just think about the bicameral mindset. That's like, five hundred thousand okay, years, okay. Then you had the freaking uh, uh, there was the freaking uh, Neanderthal. Mm -hmm. then, then there was uh, yeah, uh, Neanderthal. Um, then you you had that new time. species that they found oh, found up in uh, Russia. That one was uh, supposed to be running around the same time as the freaking Neanderthals were. What the heck are you doing, Karma? I apologize. I'm done now. I bought a whole <laughs> bunch of candles because I'm proud of some people. So I bought a bunch of I'm candles. Like and hearing I'm hearing every freaking chew you're making, man. You're like, it's not a chew. It's me. It's not me chewing. No, I would never chew on. <laughs> I was like, but God. it's me ripping the wrapper off of these candles so I can light them. Today is oh. Wednesday. It's yellow candle day. I'm done now. I'm done. I'm done. I thought you I'm was glad you waited. Something. You literally said something to the last at the last candle so <laughs> I was like what are you doing I was going to mute but the com the combo was too good so I was just like let me hurry up I didn't know you could hear it but now I know you can hear it it's the next time I know yeah. but I did it I just had to rip the wrappers off the candle so I can light them and you see like right there the reason why you, you can't really get anything about that theory is because there's just so much conflict in people's opinion you know what I mean like yeah um there's, Didn't you say heart had aliens? They said that there might have been some alien um, harvesting up there too, as well. That they were kind of holding on to some aliens out that way as well. Um, there's it, it goes deep like that, like the secret space program. A lot of a lot of them believe that freaking uh, there's like space-born aliens that are natural from other worlds, out outer world, and then there's us, uh, Earth uh, humans. Or Earth humans and then outer Earth humans that, that, that were born and raised in outer space. But, but then. The thing, you can be a human, but it doesn't mean your soul is necessarily human, you know? I like, have, uh, yeah, because we can reincarnate. You just told me about that. But a soul can't die, souls live forever. You remember and, you just told uh, me about the guy that turned into a snake, that got turned into a snake in order for him to be able to come back? So, I mean, you know yeah. that, right? Well, that was uh, Sumerians, and uh, your 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 top. What was his name? Uh, started with a D. Um, started with a D. I thought it started with an S. It's not Shams Shasmo. Or Shash. That's not him. We we were just talking about him too. Yesterday, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't. Sh yeah, you're right. It was it was, it was an S. Um, it was like Shasmo or Shash Shash. Sha Sha it was uh, it was freaking Inanna's husband. Mm -hmm. And you had to exchange his life because in order for him to come back, you had to get another life. And so well, that's no, why he was an idiot. He was sitting there on that throne being lazy and shit, and his wife was just freaking brought back from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he like her I'm off. out here, I'm out here resurrecting myself, and you just sitting around chilling. Like what's wrong with you? You don't like yeah. You don't <laughs> piss freaking uh, and on off.
but yeah. that's like he was just saying like yeah so as a result we know that you don't have to be a person again when you come back i mean like there you go yeah and what he's, so you could be incarnated as a uh, alien i can only imagine but again that word itself is just like how can we even use well, it or not what is believe that generally we become more um advanced consciousnesses as we do good deeds um and as we do sort of negative deeds we we can become more animal-like and that sort of regress in our evolution um but from and and when it comes to topics like this i like to look at remote viewing data because it has shown consistently that you can use it in a scientific way and understand things that you couldn't normally through other means and so I, got, I encourage you guys to look at Farsight on um, YouTube because they've investigated a lot of this stuff mm -hmm. and they found out that the planet is actually being used as a soul prison by aliens um, and that means they keep us sort of confused here to prevent us from um, spiritually evolving and therefore we keep being in the cycle of reincarnation on this planet yeah. Um, and they created like an energy grid around the planet that if your soul tries to incarnate and move away from this planet to another planet, you it hits this energy grid and it wipes your memory and basically puts you down to the earth and should reincarnate again. Kind of like the ice here many times. You know? No, see, like but that's, right now, that's, uh, that's, that's what there's I'm a big about. effort right now of. Um, to, to dismantle this grid and set everyone free. So um, I think that could happen in our lifetime or pretty soon, you know? Yeah, I've heard uh, <laughs> that's, see, back in the day, that's what Alex Jones first believed. That's why he named his first thing, you know, Prison Planet. And I was okay with that until he started getting all crazy with politics and everything. And then David Icke uh, taps into that too with uh, the moon and how the moon is actually a satellite that is used to change the way we perceive things and because the moon itself is a mystery a lot of people the don't realize moon compared that compared to the real moon you talk no, about the, simulation the, moon. the moon just just the There's size of the moon our, our planet if you look on Google, um, on uh, Wikipedia, there's magnetic scans of the moon, and you can see there's these huge uh, metal objects underneath the moon's surface on the dark side of the moon. Mm -hmm. The moon's size is too big for our planet to hold in its orbit. It's, the, the size of our planet compared to the size of our freaking uh, moon is abnormal we shouldn't be able and to it's hold also it. geomagnetically locked to our to our planet's rotation which is also abnormal that's not normal. that's not common yeah there's a lot of things that david ike talks about that that's very important too like he he you said it the last time you was on here about him he really i think it was you wasn't it you said he really hits things but uh, I don't know if it was me, but yeah, I like Ike stuff. You know, yeah, he, he's generally on to it. But that reminds me too. Um, before you get off here, I was uh, I, I already have uh, asked Carla, Karma, and she said she's willing to do it. At some time, would you be willing to sit down and do an interview with us? Yeah, for sure. And just so you can get your story out and everything that you want to share and then we can bug you afterwards you know what I'm saying or at least it'll be what you want to say and then if you want questions while you're doing it we can do it that way either way or you don't have to take questions at all just you know yeah say. man um, yeah we should just have a little chat about what topics to cover no, I mean an, yeah. an actual interview on you. Just you know? talking about you, your findings, the stuff that you're into, type of stuff. Everything. That you're really I mean, about. yeah. Because you got uh, a lot of. <laughs> you, yeah, we don't really want. Yeah, he just yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Because we'll <laughs> it's it's hard catching you on here, man. You're like you're like anonymous. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I've been a little bit busy with random stuff lately, but um, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I'll get a bit more settled now. It's always whenever we, we we can get you on here to do that we get a good interview and and get it all in order that way we kind of understand a lot of the stuff that you're doing and where, where you're coming from and stuff like that sounds like a plan sounds like a plan you uh you you actually come up with some good stuff man like uh like JPL, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, well, um, I think there was definitely a bit of creepiness on around the beginnings of NASA and JPL and that, but uh, like you said, Parsons and their black magic and all that. You know, Alistair Crowley influenced them quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I think part of that reason is is because they were aware of the extraterrestrials that they on in the piece. And to them, I don't know if, if to them it was like something they worshipped or something that they're, um, you know, tapped into or whatever, but it does seem like they had some high strangeness around, around that. Because I remember Crowley channeled a being that looked a lot like a grey alien, like early on in the but um, yeah, I don't know. I think like a lot of it is a bit of a psyop as well because I think, like I said, the secret space program has has much more advanced technology, and they've just given us this like crap that like you know the space shuttle and stuff like that. That's just like based on old school Nazi rocket technology, not you know, <laughs> and uh, we were never really able to progress as fast as we should have. And so I think it was just a little bit of a show for the public. I think uh, Kennedy and that knew about um, some of these secret programs going on. And uh, yeah. I find it I interesting we'll you all think that we're evolving. And I feel like we're so far behind. We're relying on technology to do stuff that we can do from within ourselves. Like, I feel like it's a complete, like we're dumbing ourselves down. Like people are making it seem like we're doing so much better because we built all these things that we are and our likelinesses and it seems like they're more useful like people really could astro travel and now we don't even take that into consideration we have to fly on an airplane we're not there's no such thing as teleportation but there is and it's just crazy because like what is that not more powerful we're relying on outside source so we're outsourcing in order for us to do with what we're equipped with like that, that, that doesn't seem like evolution to me. Yeah, like I said, it seems like we're killing ourselves, especially the, the radiation. You know, the, the powers that be, you know, the dark government people, the globalists, they want to keep us dumb and sick and stupid. And they, you know, they want don't want us to investigate psi phenomena, telepathy, um, you know, stuff like that, because otherwise we'd become too powerful. Uh -huh, yeah, and so yes. they, you know, false science, false paradigms, false religions, so that, you know, it keeps us trapped in this de de devolution st state. But um, I don't think it's us necessarily doing it to ourselves. I, I consider these controller people not really part of humanity. <laughs> We're going to make you feel inferior without your consent. We're literally saying, hey, it's okay because we don't know any better and we're choosing. We, we're free will. We have the right to learn about ourselves and be better. But instead, we're saying, no, we'll just conform to what's telling what we're being told how to do. Like I well, said, it's a well, point of suicide. Humans have this really, really bizarre habit of thinking they have control. Like, you actually have the ability to consent to anything when in reality you don't you do okay. you, you, you we know, always get into this everybody falls for that okay um and it's it, it, as a matter of fact we have more freedom today than we've ever had in the entire time that humans have been on this planet other than are times. you kidding yes i'm kidding i'm, I'm not kidding I'm, I'm serious you know what they used to do to people like us back in the 1600s they would skin us up 
live and burn us at the stake because we let's were talking. Let's go before then, though. Be let's because go before then. Before then, they were freaking killing us because we didn't speak the right language. If if me and you walked up into freaking a Roman town speaking the language we did, we would have been foreigners and they would have killed us because we were most likely spies. By like being in gang. Okay. If you were freaking speaking English in France during the 1300s, they'd have thought that you were an English spy and killed you on the spot. All right. If you didn't follow the church's mandates from the time of the Holy Roman Empire, freaking, they would have killed you. They they freaking massacred the freaking Gnostics. Okay. They pushed them into the freaking into a freaking castle. And the Gnostics actually came out and walked themselves to the freaking uh, flames because they knew they were going to die. You know, I mean, this stuff has been going on, and and there 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 never was a time in history that we've had more freedom than what we've had now. And the only reason why we've had it was because freaking people like me and you and everybody else who actually spoke up said hey look there's something not right here okay and that's even normal people normies. Now. So, can you imagine how much freedom we could actually have if we mm -hmm. got rid of this silly control system you know? that's what it comes down it's a control system uh, you know well, people are so afraid because they've been so greatly controlled i mean strategically and honestly wow they did an amazing job they're not even going to rebel against it they're comfortable they're lazy they're too lazy exactly. to do something about it they, they want somebody to else system. to take care of their problems yes 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 they have no type of concept of self they have no they, they conform like i said to this system and then they feel like hey i'll just parallel the system but i'll make my own system over here even though i'm going to use everything from this system to do it i'm going to use their money i'm going to use their thought processes i'm going to use like you just it, it, how do you do that how do you uh, like beat something when you're the exact same thing you're beating yourself you're setting yourself up to be beat because you're doing the exact same thing you're just saying hey it's better because it's me doing it like, people have no idea what freedom is and how to release their self from the thought process of having to be under someone else's strong arm, to having to be subject. Like, they'll, they'll go to their job. I do, do I need to? Do I need no, I'm to, okay. I'm calming down. Do I need to explain to you my whole theory on civilization again? I need to, must, yes, of course. <laughs> you know why civilization was created, right? It's because man... Uh. In, Man discovered beer. Okay. What? Yeah. Man you mean fermented oranges? Oranges that sit too long make beer. Man so discovered <laughs> beer. How he got that information, I don't know, but he discovered beer. And when these guys figured out that they could make beer, they freaking started drinking it. And they they were looking <laughs> around while they were drunk, and they were like, whoa, dude, we can't be out here in the open like this because freaking... If drinking beer if we're drunk like this these freaking animals are gonna kill us so that's when they started freaking building shelter okay and then more people came along and more people started getting drunk and then all of a sudden they got that fool <laughs> sitting over to the side making an ass out of himself and they say hold on dude we can't be giving him no booze and then he don't know guy, how to act when he gets drunk yeah. <laughs> he starts tripping when he drinks right? then another guy says hold on hold on we don't have to get rid of him what we do is we keep telling him that we'll give him more beer as long as he goes out and gets stuff for us. So mm -hmm. now all of a sudden they got stuff for us. Now all of a sudden he's, they got a workforce. They got a runner. Yep. You see? Mm -hmm. That's like having a crackhead work on your car or get somebody to work on your car because you know he's gonna do it. He know how to do it, but he's just addicted to what he's addicted to. So he gonna do it for the hundred when you might be paying a few five, six, seven hundred. Yeah, they call them the runners. Yeah. yeah. They made yeah people That's... that are willing to do anything for money. Yep. Anything freaking to get but money that or high. beer, money now, or beer. Uh, you, you tell somebody who freaking likes to freaking go out for the weekend and hang out in the bar and fucking get drunk that shit, and they fucking will automatically get mad and want to argue with you. Oh, <sighs> automatically. All right. But if you look at what controls the mass public, it's usually alcohol and drugs. Or drugs. Sex. And money. And money. Yep. Supposed, Alcohol, drugs, su sex, supposedly and money. things that are freaking illegal. You know what <laughs> I mean? 
but <laughs> or man-made or man-made yeah. they don't even control themselves they don't have more control over themselves their money has more control over them their beer has more control over them their drugs have more control over them they themselves nothing but pawns they, they they're, they're they're nothing I'm, i don't mean to say I'm it like that. i'm a slave to my cigarettes i'm a slave to my freaking coffee at least at least you admit it and, but no you're not out here killing people for coffee you might if you get you <laughs> might get a little test somebody's if getting you don't have my money coffee. people Somebody. killing people for money though People Somebody, killing somebody's people getting drugs. my money for that coffee I'm buying. You know what I mean? But you're not killing anyone for it. People are killing people for money. People are killing people for drugs. People are killing people to have alcohol. And usually when they are using alcohol, people are killing people for Coca Cola, man. They yeah. had a. For cutting people off in traffic. No, you want to hear about yeah. a freaking conspiracy theory? There's, there's one for Coca Cola. Huh? What? What'd you say, a robot? What did you say? I just said you don't have to be killing people to be a slave. Yeah. You know? uh, it takes an, any addiction really to be like, as long as you're going back for more. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, I think it's worth it's a worthy practice to get that self control to be able to say no to yourself sometimes. Because you can be a slave to a lot of things. I mean, you you can and. I know what I'm a slave to, but I still need freaking get rid of it. You know what I mean? Just because I'm aware of it and I can admit it, that's that's not action. You know? That's the first step to solving the problem, though. And then shout out to you, because look at how much stuff cigarettes have compensated for. Look at how far you've come. You understand what I mean? I'm not yeah. going to sit here and condone smoking cigarettes because ill, but at the same time, truth be told, you came from so much more than cigarettes. So much more, you know what I mean? So much more. I came, so, honestly, I came from sex. Well, <laughs> sex, I came from drugs, sex. alcohol. You came from all the bullshit. Freaking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, another addiction. You hear You're that? Freaking cigarettes are the only but, thing that you have now. Cigarettes and coffee. You're telling me you stopped doing meth or whatever. You know what I mean? Or acid yeah. or, or you know what I mean? All whatever right, it is that you used to do. I don't know what type of drugs you used to do, but you said that you used to be on that shit heavy and you. Stop! You stop! You stop! You understand? Well, yeah, you supplement it, but you stop. When it when it comes to freaking being a slave, though, is what we're talking about. Like, uh, you're you're a slave to everything if you freaking allow yourself to be. Like, it, right. it it comes down to the fact that you have to stop. You know what I mean? You have attention. To stop. People can be slaves to attention. They're out right. here. I mean, they sell their kids. It'd be seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds with booty shorts on and freaking halter tops and twerking on TikTok. And not even supposed to have social media before you're 13. Why is your nine-year-old in booty shorts on TikTok? Because she's so cute. Like, uh, yeah, that's kind of gross. I don't want to see your kid. Big undoing the slave system. You know, if you're aware of the fact that you're a slave, then you can do something about right. it. Um, right. Now, and I think. Uh, you know, using drugs as an example to to learn how to control yourself or learn how to undo these um, traps we get into is a worthy practice right now because bringing it back to our main topic, harp and stuff like that, they're going to be using these um, nanotechnologies in combination with, yeah. you know, uh, microwave technology to try and control people's minds <laughs> and. Um, you need a, a large amount of that uh, awareness, self-awareness, self-control to be able to withstand that. Well, I think. You, you know, you're bringing up a good topic right there. Like, we've been talking about the illegal drugs, too, but what about the legal drugs? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep, pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals. Yes. I mean, my, my parents... Everyone is these days for any kind of excuse, you know? Yeah. My parents are terrified because they think they're going to lose Medicare, you know. And that's a state of fear. When you're in a state of fear, you'll be in a state of desperation. And when yeah. you're desperate, you'll basically do almost anything. And that's what they're hoping is that they're control again. And they'll make you yeah. feel so desperate. People like to do that with me all the time. Oh, you need this so, money for this. What you going to do for it? Like, shit, watch you laugh in your face. <laughs> <laughs> laugh in your face. That's why you try to make it. My mind is strong. My mind is too strong. Like people got to really go ham to really get at me, and then even when they do, they end up feeling it harder than I do. But yeah, that's why I light my candles. They're so beautiful. You should see my altar. I think I have, haven't I? No. You maybe. 
Yeah. You wait. might have. I'm about to. It was the first time you got on camera. I think yours. Is it at your couch? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not this one. This one is at the bar. I made a new one because I have so many candles, like twenty of them. So yeah. No. Um. This one's a little different. I'm gonna take a picture. I'll probably post it. I'll light them all up for once just because it'll look really pretty at nighttime with them all lit. But it's strategic colors for strategic energy in order for me to channel exactly what I have to to get rid of any issues I may be inquiring. You know, you got to get rid of all that stress you're getting from me and yeah. uh, me and Mr. Robot. We're, we're just... No, you're like my you're like my de-stressor. Like I cannot wait till six o'clock. It's like oh, gotta go to work. Leave me alone, <laughs> everyone. Where's Roger? Where's Roger? What yeah, about, no, you're what my about Mr. Robot. Yeah, I mean. Oh uh, well, he doesn't show up that often. He's too he's too inconsistent for me to rely on anything with him. But I mean, like, definitely present and knowledge appreciated at all times. But yeah, no, definitely you're consistent. I know I can count on you. I know you're going to be there. No, Roger. Yeah, is yeah. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> hey, yeah, Mr. Robot. <laughs> Mr. Robot is hit or miss. We see him once a week. Like now we he done did this show. We might not see him for a month now. So, you know, we got to be careful. He's here today, he's going tomorrow. Thing, you know? And since- I just he, go up and try, you know? And since <laughs> he's on here, it reminds me too, I should be saying this more in the streams. Uh, Mr. Robot did start a conspiracy uh, uh, chat group, by the way, Conspiracy Corner. And he's also got one that I started going into called Ancient History. He's actually got a lot more. He's got Middle Ages and Modern Ages. So if anybody's listening to this, then you know where to I'm go. I'm going to come in dive deep into the research, and uh, you can learn a lot and share a lot in there. Right. Okay. I want to join history. I saw you were on the history one. I didn't join the history one, but because of what we be doing in our these streams, I'm interested in the history one now. When I first started, I didn't really look for history, but I think I'm in all the conspiracy ones. If it said conspiracy, I joined. I didn't really care who was leading it. It was just like conspiracy. Yes, that's my ammo. Like, what do you mean? I love it. So. Now that guy that you guys were talking about, is there a way we can get him into an interview too? because like we could even do a pre-recording and then stream it because I think that would be better. Do Better says that he is in Korea and he did join, he did um, send him the link to join our chat. He joined the 24 hours um, with Roger. Last night they did a show and Do Better is just that guy. So shout out to him for doing that. He went ahead and um, link, cause remember I asked him if he would tell him and he did it for us. So we'll see because their show is like huge. Like, no, no. I'm not. I could, not. I could probably get freaking John to do it for his show first. Ah, uh, yes. That'll be even better. John has that traction. I wish John would have came today. But um, the guy is cool. He seems cool anyway. You know what I mean? But they don't like any cursing. You curse, you have to put some money in the bloom. The, the blooms is what they call it. You got to pay. You got to pay to um, pay to play type thing. No cursing. But that's cool. I can't, The show is just so lit because they got so much information. Just how I like your shows. They bring uh -huh. so much in. I love people that can teach me stuff and that are willing to do it because everyone else is so scared to talk about what's real. It's like, oh, I don't want to get hurt. And it's just like, are you kidding me? Nothing can make you feel inferior without your consent. Just saying you do not want to be, you kind of welcome that into your energy. Like, make it as something that could never happen. Like, I wish you would well, try. Yeah, right. I, Type another two. thing that's better about me too is that I like cussing. I, I love cuss words. I think, I think that is self expression. I, I used to be against cursing and I kinda still am to the extent that it is a curse that we're putting on our existence that's, and words are self. That's another that's another model of freaking what they 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 put in your head. You know, physically when you say a cuss word it freaking relieves stress. It's a stress reliever. It's I heard that as well. And people that curse are realer people that curse that use profanity are more expressive, more in tune with their emotions, and basically just overall more honest people usually. But I also like the challenge of being able to have a more expanded, broader um, vocabulary in order for me to be able to express myself. Because usually it's word filler. What, what word can I put in there besides shit? What word can I put in there besides fuck? Like, like there's other words. So why do I have to resort to these words? Because I've limited well, my mind capacity in order to what it not was have is to the, the terminology got messed up, okay? Like uh back in the day, man, there was 
actually people who freaking said words that were curses. You know what I'm saying? That I mean, mm-hmm. there there were sacrilegious words that were being said, and uh, like there, there it, it was, it was well, okay with the Jewish that they, they had a good example. Um, they the book of uh, Tobiah uh, Tobit. It, mm-hmm. it, it mentions about this uh, guy. He freaking had an obsession with freaking burying the dead. Every time freaking he went around, he would see dead people that were laying on the street. So he would take it upon himself to bury them. All right. So every time he did that, freaking people would say that he was cursed because he touched the body of a dead person. Oh, because, I love- it, because it's against freaking Jewish tradition to touch the dead. You have you can touch it in a certain way, but there has to be a, a process. You see what I mean? Yeah. And uh, that's one example, and people just kind of get that mixed up. As like creator beings ourselves, our words have power behind them. And if you say something to someone, for example, I wish you'd drop dead. You know, there is a belief that that could come true due right. to your own manifest powers. Uh, yeah. And that would but be death a is an opportunity for rebirth, so perhaps it lets your mind. No, that's where you're thinking about at. dying. But that what example. if this person is telling you you should reincarnate and be something All better right. than what you are? But that 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 example robot gave right there is exactly what I'm saying. That's a curse word. Okay. Technically, you, when you tell somebody to drop dead, that's a curse word. I'm not saying shit or freaking fuck or whatever cuss word you want to say, but when you tell I'm somebody... Cuss, <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, that other word you were telling me? I'm a t- one of the words you were like, be careful because those are what they they are curses and they're, you're channeling a certain type of energy. When you were, when I was telling you about that book that I was reading or, or listening oh, to the your channel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, those are incantations. Incantations. Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to know those when you're journeying through the gates. So, um, there's a good chance you'll never be able to freaking say them properly anyhow. Because, like, the word Toth, Thoth, people people mm-hmm. don't even know how to properly pronounce his name. All right. They, they really it's don't. It's Toth, Thoth, yeah. To watch this. I mean, every. You I mean, should have said something. Go ahead. What did you say? <laughs> Sorry. I thought the ancients said it's something like Tehuti or something yep. like that. Yep. And uh, even in even India, then, they do elaborate um, ceremonies that um, that are kind of like incantations and spells, uh, which basically calls upon different deities to give them power for whatever thing they want to do, and they call them pujas. And uh, some of them can go for like five days sometimes. Crazy. Yeah. But people, like the people here fully believe it, man. Like, I, I think there's something to it for sure. Nothing can happen to you unless you think it can happen to you. Nothing can. And your mind has more power than words do because you have to be in a set to be able to receive it. People tell me about all the horrible things. I said, somebody just was in my stream the other day telling me about everything that's going to happen to me bad and all these people want bad stuff that I said they're going to die they're going to die and for me when I think about death just because I've studied it's rebirth so if you feel as though that you're going to be able to attack me with something I wish life on you but I'm going to wish it in a way to where you're going to start thinking about something completely opposite in order for me to be able to block and repel whatever you feel as though you're going to send towards me because like how, how, how can I have any control over your life but how am I allowed to let you have any control, like, over my life? Like, why? What, 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 when you give people control over your life, you're pretty much relinquishing your control over your life. You're saying, hey, I'm not good enough to be in control. I'm not good enough to determine which direction my life is headed. So I'll let you go. Oh, I, I have a theory for you. That it's our egos that think they're in control, but actually not in control. And it is our higher selves that are actually in control and can make decisions on to co-create with another person. And I think that happens before you're even consciously aware of it. 
you kind of make an agreement in the higher realms that yes, you are going to meet each other, and yes, you are going to create something beautiful together, or get into a fight, or whatever the situation might be. But whatever the situation is, is what your souls have decided is actually the best thing for you to learn from. Because a soul doesn't take anything personally. Really. These candles are so beautiful. Ooh, I, I, I also like uh, Carl Jung's take on the ego. He also believes in the alter ego, and he explains it pretty good. He's like, if you, if you uh, have, or if you, uh, everybody has an ego, but they also have an alter ego. So for everything that you do good at, or you're good at, or things that freaking you brag about, there's that alter ego in the back of your head that sabotages you. Okay, so it, it's That's building higher up. Self, lower self. That's yeah, why it's, there's no such thing as the devil. It's building up back there. Okay, so no matter how good you do something, you've got that alter ego, oh, that alter ego in the back of your head that freaking is just building. It's getting bigger and it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger. That's mythicism. Mythicism no, that's... speaks about how we were so powerful. Look, how we were so powerful and we really started to question our power. We, people were not dying. We were living forever. Infinite life is definitely obtainable, but it has been limited with our thoughts and our beliefs because we, like you said, control. Ego does not have to exist. Ego is, ba is self-created because what it is is we're awakened self does not operate in ego ego awakened self awakened self operates in reasonability awakened self operates in optimism awakened self operates in creation not destruction not tearing down it when you're the focusing alter, and operating in the alter ego 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 does that you see that's what i'm trying to say but we created the ego you understand what i'm saying the ego created, is not existing naturally. we created the ego but you got to understand that when you have an ego when you're egotistical you have an alter ego as well okay so for everything that you're good at there's another part of you in the back of your head that's freaking your alter ego causing you to question yourself no it causes you to literally destroy yourself for all the good things you do freaking you got that alter ego back there that's building up and you'll screw up on something you see what i mean because that alter ego is back if there you believe and, it. and it's 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 just the way it is why would you believe something that limits how your many, existence how many times you know I mean? did you wake up in the day and do do that day perfect no flaws whatsoever no mistakes never made one mistake in your day every day motherfucker no. <laughs> what know. what 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 constitutes a mistake it's not our perception determining it's whether or not what we see as a if you stub oh. your toe it's a mistake yeah right <laughs> yes yeah, you yeah, are that's you don't feel like that. so then there's what no such thing as accident what accident's a mistake a mistake. what if you're judging it as a mistake and it's actually the perfect the most perfect thing that could happen because you now what, you're building your tolerance. If, if so next time you stub your toe, you're building, you're, if, you're building if my toe from stubbing your toe hurting, to dropping a boulder I'm, on it. What if it's preparation if, instead of a mistake? If what I if hurt my toe and it feels like a boulder mm. landed on it, that building is a threshold. mistake. That is a mistake, okay? If, if I forget to well, cut no, my toenails, if, if, if I forget, if I forget to cut my toenails and it feels like it's cutting into my freaking lower or my my big toes <laughs> cutting into my uh, lower toe, that's, that's my disgusting. mistake. That's a mistake. <laughs> See? Is, it, is that a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> if I just, okay, so you're just trying to be funny about it. But yeah. for all but these said, all these little mistakes we make, okay, that's because of your alter ego, and it happens. It happens all the time. I, I don't I, I don't think there is an alter ego. I think there's like maybe like little negative entities like the little devil on your shoulder, you know, but I think you can get rid You're of the those. devil on your shoulder. Your lower self cuz that uh, evil is what the I devil is. You can reframe those those mistakes as just lessons and you know, <laughs> if you learn a lesson <laughs> Yeah, see. I anybody who's, the table anybody who's time. willing to use them as lessons would overcome those problems. That's that's change, all right. But, but then people go drink their beer instead, and so they <laughs> don't use them. They don't use them as lessons, <laughs> and they are they become mistakes. The next thing you know, they're cussing and yelling at someone who could actually be nice to them and help them become a better that's person. That's alter ah, ego. 
there's the mistake. Oh, that <laughs> it just it's it's like a domino effect. You see what I mean? It's, and yeah, self sabotage. Self sabotage. You you're sabotaging I've yourself. Never. I mean, I have, but I, I mean, like just knowing my power and after learning my experiences, like to let someone else have more influence over my existence than I do is foolish. And that, and that's why I get frustrated with people who like literally make it seem like it's normal to be out of control and have someone else running their life for them. Like these superstars, they'll sit here and they have an accountant, a financial advisor, Tan, Tan, let me use Tan as an example. I, he was like, oh yeah, I was like, so what stocks do you have? He's like, oh, I don't know. I let my people handle that. What? You don't know where your money's at? You give someone complete control over your money and you just you just kind of, I should kind of check in on that. You know how easy it is to rob somebody like that? I think about it from that perspective just because I've been around and well, I watch Dan's what people rich. do. Dan's oh, be rich. rich all you want to. I want to stay rich. I don't want to find out that you're Selena's manager and you've been hoarding my money all this time. Are you kidding me? You should always Selena. have access and knowledge did of you, everything that you, you have. Did you just say Selena? Yeah, anything for Selena's. Yeah, I Selena's believe. manager straight murked her ass. Robot, have you ever heard of Selena? <laughs> hey guys, uh, it is 5 a.m. here. I'm gonna peel off for now. Um, yeah. Oh wow! You guys I did not realize what time it was. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go Thank ahead and in. end. Actually, um, you want to say something before we cut out of here? No, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, well. I'll be listening in. You know we have basketball, so yeah. Tech, tech, tech talk. Yeah, I'll be in to yeah. listen, but. Thanks for showing up, Robot. This is dope. I love these type of conversations. I want to say something quickly before I go. Um, okay. As much as we talk about conspiracies and stuff like that, some people might see that as like a negative thing, but I don't. I don't see it as a negative thing. I just see okay. it as us stepping into our power and using our intellect to understand the our environment and to make it better. And I think ultimately the most the most um, ultimate ex uh, conspiracy is the fact that we're all one consciousness and there is no such thing as separation and there is no real thing such as evil in this universe it just seems that way as we're going through our, our journeys and these props are just here for us to learn from as souls and um, if you can step into that non-dualistic frame of mind like that then you don't have to be afraid, and uh, that's a, that, that's the best state to be in. <laughs> cool. Uh, enjoy, guys. I'm Thank glad you, you guys showed up, <laughs> and this actually was a pretty good conversation. You guys, you guys did a good job. You kept me on my toes. So the ones that you need to clip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I can tomorrow. I will see you guys next week if you show up. Oh shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>